Hi, I'm The Lesson Hacker, and this is The Craig and Dave Channel, the place where we take big, complex tech concepts, strip out the nonsense, and serve them up with a side of sarcasm. And today, we've got a spicy one. Apple just pulled a major privacy feature from the UK. Why? Because our government asked them to break encryption. And Apple went, nah, we'll just remove it instead. But wait, why did the UK even ask for this? Is Apple being dramatic? And most importantly, does this mean that your private iCloud selfies are at risk? Brian, Brian, are your iCloud selfies at risk? Oh, oh God, oh God, we're all gonna see it, guys. Just d don't look, don't Google for it. So let's talk about the Investigatory Powers Act, or as privacy nerds call it, at the Snoopers Charter. Now we've talked about this before, but this law honestly sounds like something out of a VR novel. This is a law that gives the UK government the rights to demand access to encrypted data in the name of national security, terrorism, child abuse, organized crime, the big scary stuff. Now, you might be thinking, well, okay, but doesn't encryption exist so that no one, not even Apple, can access my data? Yes, that's literally the point. Encryption works by locking your data in a vault that only you have the key to. Apple's Advanced Data Protection, or ADP, made that vault even stronger, so strong that even Apple couldn't get in. The UK government went, yeah, about that. We'd like a spare key, please. And Apple, in response, said, cool, cool, cool. We'll just uh, remove the whole vault. Problem solved. Which is kind of like if the police asked the bank to give them a way to secretly access safety deposit boxes. And instead of complying, the bank just closed all of its UK branches. Nan, Nan, have you made sure you've got your iCloud encryption turned on? No, Nan, all your activism will be caught and you'll be sent to jail. Now, the specific tool the UK used to demand this is called a uh, technical capability note, a secret order issued under section 253 of the Investigatory Powers Act. And secret really is the key word here. These orders are so hush-hush that companies aren't even allowed to admit that they exist. But Apple's refusal made the whole thing public, and civil rights groups like Liberty and Privacy International are now taking the UK government to court over it. And just to add another layer of dodgy governmental behaviour, this court case is happening in secret. Yeah, journalists, activists, even politicians in the US are arguing that the whole thing should be out in the open, but so far, closed doors. So just to recap, the UK government tried to secretly force Apple to break encryption, Apple went full petty mode and pulled the feature completely, and now they're all fighting about it in a courtroom that no one's allowed to see. This is totally normal, isn't it? Totally democratic. But here's the thing, Apple might not be in the clear here either. See, there is a legal argument that says that the UK's request might not even be valid. The encryption Apple uses on iCloud is actually handled by a separate chip on your iPhone, not by Apple itself. That means Apple might not even be legally capable of doing what the UK is asking. Of course, Apple isn't just standing up for your privacy out of the kindness of their trillion dollar hearts. They have a business reason to do that. Apple's entire brand is built on privacy. If they're forced to add a backdoor for the UK, what happens when China asks for the same thing? Or Russia or the US? It's a slippery slope, and let's be honest, once a backdoor exists, it's not just governments who are gonna try and use it. Hackers, cyber criminals, dodgy data brokers, once the lock is weakened, anyone with the right tools can get in. And that's not just a problem for iPhone users in the UK, it's a global problem. So what does this actually mean for you? Well, if you were using the advanced data protection, it's gone in the UK. No more extra encryption for us. If you care about privacy, you might start seeing more companies pulling features or even refusing to operate in the UK entirely. If the UK government wins, now this could set a global precedent, which means governments all over the world might start demanding their own back doors. And if you're sitting there thinking, yeah, I don't have anything to hide, let me remind you, your data isn't just about what you do, it's about who you are. Encryption protects journalists, whistleblowers, activists, people living under oppressive regimes. Even if you don't think you need it, there are plenty of people who do. So where do we go from here? Well, if you're worried about your data, you can always look into alternative providers. Though, if the UK keeps pushing for this kind of thing, you might have to start smuggling USB sticks across the channel, like some kind of 21st century data bootlegger. To summarize, the UK government secretly ordered Apple to weaken iCloud encryption, but Apple refused and removed the feature entirely. This demand was made under the Investigatory Powers Act, which lets the government force companies to give access to private data. Privacy groups and Apple are fighting this in a secret court case, arguing it sets a dangerous precedent for global surveillance. If the UK wins, it could force other companies to weaken security, making everyone's data more vulnerable to hackers and misuse. And on that note, I'd say we're done here today. 
If you enjoyed this deep dive into government overreach, corporate pettiness, and the general state of digital privacy in 2025, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'm The Lesson Hacker, this is the Craig and Dave channel, and I'll see you next time. Well, assuming that I don't mysteriously disappear after this video goes live. If I do, just know that my iCloud data was encrypted.